week off, but uh, back to it. There's just so much to to process, you know? <laughs> it's the same shit. It's just the same bullshit. Just that. No, there's children involved. The trend we've been seeing um, since basically, you know, uh, 2000, you know, like the beginning of 2016, it seemed like satire started blending more and more with reality. And uh, basically, that's what our show is about. Um, but this is just the pinnacle where satire has just crossed into and truly become reality. And what I'm talking about is, if you caught it, Stephen Colbert had Michael Avenatti and the Mooch, Anthony Scaramucci, on his show to talk about. Uh, <laughs> the two of them are possibly going to have a show together where Michael Avenatti and the Mooch talk about the issues, and they, I guess, they pitched it to CNN. And Why? Why do we MSNBC. need that? MSNBC. But they will get it. That's the fucked up thing. But why do we need that? <laughs> why? And yeah, so in case you don't know, Mooch is a... He was Trump's White House uh, press secretary for 11 days. Mm -hmm. The shortest position held in the Trump office so far. Um, <laughs> and he's just a character. And then Michael Avenatti is... Stormy Daniels' lawyer, the yeah. porn star who bones Trump, and uh, yeah, you know all yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. But it, so the dude bringing down Trump, and then the dude defending, or like he's not Trump's really, buddy. He's not even really defending. He's, <laughs> Garamucci's just a weird fucking dude. He's yeah. Uh, who knows what his fucking interests are? Yeah. And like why he really does anything, but. Um, <laughs> But no, it's just crazy. Uh, I would say just watch the interview because there is just... It's like a double parter. Um, but yeah, there's this part where they start talking about Michael Cohen. And then he's like, didn't you just call Michael Cohen? Talking to Anthony Scaramucci. And he's like, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, like, Fuck yeah. No. Just like the dude who is possibly... Who's probably going to go to jail for a bunch of shady stuff. Trump's former personal lawyer, the dude who paid Stormy Daniels $130,000. Like, why this whole... Why Michael Avenatti's even involved? <laughs> and, like, yeah. the mooch is just his homie. Now, somebody's paying my, Michael Avenatti to go against Trump. Because it's the same situation as Gorka, where the billionaire... I'm gonna look it up. The billionaire, some billionaire dude who Gorka had written up a couple in, um, articles about basically outing him as gay because he didn't want anybody to know he was gay so that dude got back at Goka by going through fucking Hulk Hogan and suing Goka and getting the company sold off to fucking Univision which yeah. is yeah and this is the same situation because it's, it's it's already been proven that a billionaire can influence this shit so maybe some dude like Mark Cuban is paying this shit because Tommy Daniels can't pay that dude that dude's rates are too fucking high yeah. She can't pay him. And yeah, yeah um, I mean, I think there's there's evidence for that. I'm sure all of you have noticed when you've logged on to Pornhub that uh, there's a whole bunch of Stormy <laughs> Daniels. What do you mean, all of you? <laughs> you know, everybody who watches this show yeah, is... Pornhub is shit. <laughs> but no, the it's... The fact that Stormy Daniels is on the front page proves that they're shit and they're bought. Because that's some bullshit. Who the fuck was to watch Stormy Daniel's porn? Nah. Well, she's basically advertising. It's like an ad. Yeah, still. Um, but yeah. This is not the 90s. I bet a lot of people do want to watch Stormy Daniel's yeah, now. I bet mean, she's gotten out. a big uptick in her views. Yeah, just because she's Stormy Daniel's. But I'm not gonna be... I'm, it can't be bought with stupid shit like that. Even when it comes to porn. That shit's too serious to be taken this lightly. Yeah, give it away. Your time to fucking Stormy Daniels. <laughs> Those people just know. Yeah. Okay. Full disclosure. I did not click it. All right. Did not Nobody click cares it. if you clicked it. <laughs> Shit. If you did, good for you. You you could overcome that hurdle. I just can't. <laughs> no. Nah. Stormy Daniels. No. Nah. No. Nah. That's what your dad jerked off to. Like what the fuck? No. True. Like no, I'm not age shaming, but it's just weird. And the fake tits. <laughs> That were popular in the 80s and 90s are scary. Yeah, they're, they're probably not holding up. 
they probably are because she keeps getting them redone, but it looked like it'll hurt you if she smacks your head with that shit. Yeah. Like, that's a no for me. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's probably going to happen. You're we're probably going to have, you know, two of America's most confusing and absurd lawyers having their own show on yeah. national TV. So, that's about where we're at in reality, and... But those other weird shit, like talking about Millennia's jacket, which was a jacket I read, I really don't care, do you? Which I personally don't think is a big deal. But people are citing Millennia's fashionista background as the reason why this might be a politically motivated message. I don't think it is, but just, just to run out their, their point of view, she's Melania and she's wearing a 30, $38 jacket from Zara which is lowest tier fucking designer and it's last season shit so last season from the lowest tier it's like wearing for shoes like wearing fucking Reeboks from 10 years ago that's a no like why the fuck are you wearing 10 year old Reeboks the pump it up shit like why and so people are saying those those two or three reasons are why Melania is probably playing this as a fucking like She's trolling or some shit, like pulling a page from her husband's handbook. Cause she's gonna see the little kids. She d- took a surprise visit to go see some kids that were you. You probably know all about the shit. The kids that are being held in cages, the immigrant kids and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah, and so I mean that's that's the thing too. Like when I first saw this, I saw a bunch of headlines, Melania's jacket, and I kind of thought the same too. Thing too, like. Who the fuck jacket. cares? It's a jacket. Like well, people are making a big. So now we can't really talk about the Obama tan suit shit because <laughs> you're pulling the same. It's kind of different, but it's really similar. Because I don't really think it's that big of a deal. She probably just liked it, thought it looked hip. But, but I don't know. On the other hand, Trump, I mean, when you're going to visit and you have all this media attention, I mean, it just does seem like a yo oversight. Look, which, look, look at fucking streetwear now, and that's supposed to be a streetwear jacket. Streetwear right now says some weird shit. Like, you can go the flowery route of Forever Forever 20... What's the name of the fucking... Yeah, Forever 21. Yeah, or yeah, Forever 21. Or you can go, like, the fucking... Like, what's the name of that store? It's, fuck. In, at every mall. That Hot Topic. The Hot Topic route would just write fucking weird, obscene shit on your shirt. And be at a funeral or some shit. And nobody would look twice, because it's just the fucking shit. So why don't we apply this to her? Maybe well, it was just she a is the shirt. first lady. It was a situation, yeah. but okay. So yeah, then her communication director says it's a jacket. There was no hidden message. Yeah, we're holding her up to fucking um, Obama's wife's standard, and that's a pretty high fucking standard because her standard is higher than Obama himself's standard. Like yeah. as a more like polished person, she's way more polished than Obama himself. Obama has so many fucking flaws. So you like you Trump is held to Obama standard, which is pretty high, but she's held to an even higher fucking standard. And people keep comparing her to Obama's wife, Michelle. I forgot her name for a minute. That's yeah. why I kept calling her Obama's wife. But shit, Michelle Obama. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think one thing that does kind of shut down the argument is that I mean, I think it was her that. Because she had the statement where she was troubled by yeah. the situation with the separating children from families. And, like, my guess is she's the one that pressured Trump. Like, that had to come down to it. Because he did not give a fuck. If you read his tweets, like, he tried to kind of act like he did. But then any chance he had to, <laughs> I mean... Uh... No, but Trump also was also... He also played this as a political thing, though. Belania with the jacket. He made it political. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, so that's what I was going to say. So you could just give it up and say, um, yeah, like it wasn't really a thing. But then, yeah, Trump had to just <laughs> Make it own it himself. Yeah, and so it wasn't your is. thing. Let your wife be independent. Fucking asshole. Let yeah. her make her own mistakes, which wasn't even that big of a mistake. So he threw his fucking opinion in the pot. Which That's, is, yeah. I really don't care, do you? Quotes, written on the back of Melania's jacket refers to the fake news media. It's a Zara $38 <laughs> fucking jacket. It never had anything. It's a Zara jacket. If you know what Zara is, you know how fucking stupid that is. 
is not. Melania has learned how dishonest they are, and she no longer, tr or she truly no longer cares. It was probably a jacket <laughs> that was in the back of a fucking closet from last year, and she found this like, yo, this shit is dope, and she put that shit on. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of the people who were making it a big deal for, for drawing Trump into this, because he's drawn to attention like a moth to fucking flame. Yeah, um, and another them. thing, I just kind of throw out there. We're on the topic of Melania. Is like so, Melania's lawyer, the yeah. dude that helped her get here, and is also helping her family. Is like through the legal process mm -hmm. of like chain migration, which Trump is like talking shit about, which his fucking wife is using which to get her family here. So almost every immigrant who came here is using. Yeah, that's just how this shit works. Yeah, but. and I mean it's a like. Like, why would you be opposed to that? No, no, but the thing is, if if he takes that away, it could actually hurt America. Because America does need, like, countries do need immigrants. You just don't need too many. And once you cut chain, migra chain migration, it's going to cut the other ways for people to come in to, to such a small, like, portion that it's going to hurt the country. Because there's not going to be enough immigrants coming in. Because you got to remember, Americans are going out all the fucking time. Yeah. You, you got to counter that shit. You need to put your books, you got to make sure your books are fucking neutral. That there's no over or under. And if he cuts that, he's going to be under. I don't think he gets that, but... Yeah, I mean, that's... I, it's kind of sad that the president of the United States doesn't unless, understand that. But yeah, I mean... they do it for just white people, which it seems like they're going to do. They're going to let white people keep coming in, and then any brown fucking people oh. sub session. Yeah, I mean, that, that was one of Trump's comments, like, yeah. get more people from, like, Northern Europe. Yeah. But the thing is, and Loki, they don't want to come Haiti here. And Those people don't want to come. Americans are going there. Yeah. Um, well, also, I just heard this, I think it was on NPR, but either way, it was uh, the latest, like... Demog American demographics, and yeah, apparently every other group, I think, besides white people, and like, has grown in population, and white people are actually shrinking, so. Uh, but that's because, like, birth rates are the lowest. So, actually, like, America is shrinking birth wise, but like, the only reason why it's still increasing is because of immigration. And that's important for yeah. a lot of reasons, like the economy. And it's pretty much all you really need to say. Is cause yeah, it's literally just because of the economy. Yeah, like so... that's the whole point of everything, low-key. Well, yeah, and then there's also... I, I mean, this came up during the election, and I saw it started coming up again, but there's uh, cases where Trump hired illegal immigrants to work for him. Um, yeah, people knew that he's fucking New York developer. Yeah. Like, you can't do that shit without... Like, but yeah, now it's coming shit. up again. But yeah, no, I saw an article that alleges that he was paying uh, illegal immigrant workers $4 an hour and then, like, threatening to have them deported if they complained about, like, the working conditions. So, which... Again, that That's all came a, up during the election, and like yeah. pretty much everybody knows that. And yeah, if you're a modern, large scale re real estate developer, and that's it's like just you a don't fact, even, you low don't have a choice. Yeah, like Trump probably did. there is no other world for them that a lot, but yeah, because the white you know, construction workers you're still paying them under the table most of the time, but you're paying them a lot more because they don't play that shit. Yeah. But, well, yeah, what I was going to say, so the actual lawyer, Melania's immigration lawyer, went on national news and was basically just talking shit about, like, well, just, he was actually, like, really polite about it, but, like, and, you know, he couldn't, he wasn't, like, saying, speaking for them because he's still their lawyer, like, but he was just saying, you know, this is not right, and, you know, talking about, like, this is not in line with America's values and all that, and... Basically saying like yeah you it's know it's unnecessary. Uh, it's just I mean it's just wild that it like, costs more money than it like it's a waste of money. That that should be all that appeals to Trump because I don't know he doesn't really care because he doesn't know them but it's a waste of money he should care about that because 
Like, he's weird about the budget because he wants to cut the budget, but he's also adding stupid shit like Space Force, which already fucking exists. But, I don't know. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's a paradox. But that's his whole thing. If he was a Greek god, he'd be like the god of fucking uncertainty or some bullshit. Because nothing is ever what it seems. He's not even god of mischief because he's not smart enough, but just random uncertainty he himself he doesn't know what the fuck is gonna happen and that's him in his human form come to fuck a couple people and make some demigods or some shit i don't know what the fuck are we talking about (laughs) well yeah so we kind of started getting into it but the whole debacle on the border right now of this policy which I don't, it's so like it's, deb- it's not even a law people keep saying it's a law it's just the fucking policy by Trump who but not by Trump according to Trump even though like they every, said even they, though like his whole election like was building up to this like and yeah he's tried to change immigration and like there was already going to be a vote on immigration and fucking Trump basically stopped it by throwing out his like demands that were just ridiculous <laughs> Like, like, you build a border wall. Everything. Build the border wall. Like, if you want anything from him, he's going to throw that out there first. Like, he's just shooting blind. He'll build this border wall or else. Yeah. Like, So, I mean, Trump... Anything. Yeah. It's just so bizarre because it's like, he... Yeah, there was, like, the, that vote. There was some bipartisan agreement. And then fucking Trump fucked it all up. And now he's... He's the one that, like, him and Jeff Sessions decided to enforce this policy out of their interpretation of... The some, Bible, well, yeah, out of the Bible. <laughs> some the shit. Flores settlement, which it's honestly pretty convoluted and clearly, yeah. It Trump, mostly comes down to the Bible, like that's the uh, most solid defense. Yeah, so, the the white Bible, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> the white Jesus Bible. Cause, Probably Old Testament, because New Testament wasn't that cool. Yeah, they're picking from the early, early fucking parts of the Bible where shit is like, fuck it. Well, Maybe and apparently that that same like verse that Sessions quoted has been was like used in history to justify yeah. slavery, to justify like. But that makes sense. That's what we were doing that shit. It's the laws. Just follow the laws and you won't die. Uh, but the laws are bullshit. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like. That's why uh, it's, it's like, just so. People act like we all follow the laws 100%. We do it selectively. Sometimes you fuck up, but most of the time you do it selectively and you don't get caught. Like, people don't pick up shit from the ground every time they're dog shits. Well, and just what is that in a modern day America to just say the laws are ordained by God? So you're just throwing up the fucking, like, Congress. Like, no, I feel like the tradition. Or, view in America is that it's it's just people like I feel like even the founders were like very clear like hey we're people like this isn't a perfect document we did the best we could not this is the word of God like they were trying to get away from that yeah because the British were pulling that shit too much yeah and even they've stopped pulling that shit because <laughs> somebody was called you Yo, you need to watch um, the British um, Speaker of the House scolding fucking... Um, yeah, I yeah. saw that. Yeah, that shit was fucking funny as fuck. <laughs> it was the most passive-aggressive fucking, like, shut the fuck up ever. Yeah. Well, yeah. truly is, yeah, some classic British yeah. passive aggression. Anyway, um, let's, let's, let's end this shit. Let's, well, no, no, so the... Yeah, um, I just want to say, so... Trump did react and he signed an executive order which basically now and he said that it was he couldn't stand to see children being separated it didn't look good or something like that let me see okay oh yeah here it is so we're going to have strong very strong borders but we're going to keep families together I didn't like the sight or feeling of families being fuck. separated and that's what I'm saying just uh, Trump we've got your Twitter uh, right here <laughs> and no you I think you did like the sight of it because I think he just didn't give care not like he looked at it enough to care he yeah. just didn't pay that much attention to it 
Well, he, his tweets were just like, oh, Democrats, boo ho. Like, okay, you cannot pass legislation on immigration, whether it be for safety and security or for any other reason, including heart, without getting Dem votes. Probably is they don't care about security. Oh, problem is they don't care about security, and Republicans do. Zero Dems voted to support the good lot bill. Okay, so anyway, uh, in another one. We have to maintain strong borders or we will have a country that... Oh, or we will no longer have a country that we can be proud of. And if we show any weakness, millions of people will journey into our countries. <laughs> I mean, clearly, like... Yeah, he yeah, didn't they, really they care. You need um, some safeguards with immigration, but you don't need to do all that shit. But, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I mean, this was the problem that Obama was having, too, I guess, is, like, so he, they wouldn't, they, when they, they have 20 days, so they, but that doesn't allow for due process, like, if mm. there are legal proceedings, so now, apparently, Jeff Sessions is going to overcome that by just seeking to hold families indefinitely. That's, um, that's, that's when shit hits the fan. Yeah, and so that's if that happens. When it becomes some Hitler shit. Yeah. And so people are kind of confused about really what the, the former immigration something guy said that, like, it cannot be, he doesn't even think it can be implemented. So if anything is going to happen, it's probably going to get worse. And so people are getting pissed. There's already been so much pressure that actually Trump did something, which might be nothing and, or make it worse but like he actually yeah. fucking backpedaled like that's probably one of the first times that this has actually happened like to this Not degree really, yeah to this degree okay yeah. where he actually did something in reaction to like something he was talking shit about yeah but anyway so um there's a bunch of rallies planned all over the country apparently there's one tomorrow here in Madison we're p planning to Stop by, check yeah. it out, get some footage and throw it in here, so. Yo, we're out here at uh, UW Library Mall. Looks like we've got maybe... Oh. <laughs> you got a stand straight? <laughs> um, I guess like two, three hundred people. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to turn out where it's like, things started uh, 45 minutes ago, so yeah, it's probably peak, peak mass, but yeah, we're gonna roll through and get a little bit more footage of some people out here. Oh my god, if you want to grab some... Well, this is, is not as big as the other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 